So we had the boat surveyed before we purchased it, and there's a list of a couple things uh, that were on there that weren't, weren't too big of a deal. Uh, however, they didn't catch everything, which is why it's really important that you should go through your boat uh, and you should know everything about it. So you notice here, the trim tabs, clicky, 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 click, click, nothing. Uh, so I'll show you what's up with that. It's a pretty simple setup. This is the switch right here. There's a little relay box that's in it. And uh, I noticed, uh, just checking out stuff, that this connection should just come right off, but pulls the uh, connector right off the circuit board. So if you wiggle around, you'll kind of get one side to move. Uh, but yeah, they didn't catch that. And that seemed like a pretty simple, easy thing that should have been caught. So always go through your boat, make sure you know how everything works and, uh, and how things work. All right, so we got the switch out and you can see the circuit board that that little connector just popped right out of there. Kind of see a better view of it, but it's supposed to be attached to that, and there's some corrosion on those pins, so not a good idea to keep this thing. Now, one of the things that came up on the survey was that the wiring to the windlass wasn't that good, and the windlass had a, a glass fuse holder just like this one. Uh, and I noticed that it would work a little bit, but not steady, it wouldn't, wouldn't work all the time. Um, so I found this glass fuse holder. And lo and behold, I took it out, and uh, the fuse was completely separated, uh, and nothing was connected inside. It wasn't that it was burnt up. It was just old and glass. And uh, this is turns out is also the power supply on this fuse for the trim tabs. Now this one looks okay. It's actually in one piece, but we're gonna replace it anyway. So we opted for the nicer version of the switches that actually can show you where the tabs are. Uh, the other ones was just a button and a guessing game. Um, believe it or not, you don't need to change the actuators to make these work. Um, they don't have any uh, sensors in them. Um, it's still the same four wires, two and two, that are gonna go to the actuators themselves. You're gonna have your red and black power the only thing different is this orange wire, uh, and the orange wire uh, is going to be to a keyed switch. It's basically so this thing does a self-test every time you turn the key on uh, to see if anything's frozen up um, and that all the connections are there. So you have a little bit of a diagnostic idea of what is going on with these things. Alright guys, so the new ones came with these connectors, these Deutsch connectors. Um, we don't really need them, um, so we're just going to cut them off. But you can see white with the black white with the black so one side here the other side is gonna match this side so just cut them off spice them together make it look real nice so these are the butt connectors I'm using um, you can pick these up on Amazon um, these kind of came out in the last year or two um, they're pretty awesome they look like normal butt connectors you crimp them on however they're also heat shrink so once you put them on just put a ladder underneath them and they shrink up real nice uh, keep all the corrosion out of your connections so here's the first one I got here. We're just gonna let this thing go. You wanna kinda move it back and forth. Don't hold it in one spot too long. You don't wanna melt this thing, but you can see it'll start uh, shrinking up nicely here. Just kinda work it back and forth and make sure you don't get it too hot. It works pretty good. All right, so we got these things uh, hooked up now. We'll do a little test. That one works. Nothing from this one. So you can tell this isn't a smart switch. These are just timed based on how long you're holding the switch. Uh, the left side on this boat is completely frozen, so it's not going anywhere. So I did forget to mention, there is one extra wire on the tabs. Uh, and this wire is to go up to a second location if you had a flybridge or, uh, you know, another, another place where you're driving from. You can connect this and have a second controller uh, for the same tabs.